Clara Barton broke through many barriers throughout her life in order to help people. She overcame obstacles and saved many lives due to her leadership and legacy. Ms. Barton helped to improve people's lives by administering first aid and providing a safer environment for injured soldiers. She provided soldiers optimistic thoughts throughout their healing process by giving them hope that they could go home to their families. In times of peace, there were many hospitals. All people could visit a hospital and the doctors and other medical workers would do their best to nurse them back to health. However, in times of war, soldiers suffered in America because there was little medical aid at the battlefield and the treatment was substandard. Most of the doctors in the Civil War were only there by volunteer. Injured soldiers would have to find a way to get to a makeshift hospital in order to seek medical attention during the battles. Because these hospitals were so crowded, disease spread quickly. There was not enough doctors to help cure the ill and stop the spread of disease. Out of the 620,000 people who died in the Civil War, two-thirds of them died from disease. If the soldiers did get to these small, infected hospitals, it was unlikely that they would receive good treatment. A simple flesh wound would often be treated as an amputation. Soldiers weren't the only ones in need. Victims living in ruins from natural disaster would have to build themselves back up with only a little help from their neighbors and members of the community. Clara Barton was always trying to help people in any way that she could and would risk her life to do so. Clara Barton had been nursing people back to health ever since she was a child. When she was just 12 years old, her brother fell off her roof and was bedridden. Miss Barton nursed him for two years. This incident likely influenced her to understand the need to help more people. When she was 40 years old, the Civil War started. A group of soldiers arrived in Washington, D.C. in 1861 with many wounded and some already dead. She gave them supplies from her own household in order to help them. As the National Park Service website says, the overwhelming response to her request for additional supplies for the troops marked the start of her career as the angel of the battlefield. Miss Barton helped bring supplies to the wounded and was consistently risking her life by entering the battlefield to help wounded soldiers. Clara Barton said, I always try to secure the wounded until medical aid and supplies could come. I could run the risk. It made no difference to anyone if I was shot or taken prisoner. Uh, she would be beating the Army medical units to the locations, and, and by the time the Army medical people got there, she already was up and running. Her work in the Civil War, of course, is what ultimately inspired her to found the Red Cross. After the Civil War, Clara Barton traveled to Europe in search of rest. In Geneva, Switzerland, Clara Barton was introduced to the International Red Cross. She was intrigued and believed that America needed an organization like the one in Switzerland. Clara Barton worked tirelessly to pass the Geneva Treaty. This was a treaty that agreed to protect the sick and wounded during wartime without respect to nationality and for the formation of national societies to give aid voluntarily on a neutral basis. The first treaty of this idea was presented in Geneva in 1864. Clara Barton fought hard to pass the treaty in the United States. It took time to pass the treaty and Clara Barton wanted to continue helping as often as she could. Later, Clara Barton worked with the Red Cross to further the organization in the United States. The Red Cross officials noticed Clara Barton's leadership abilities and sent her to America, armed with a letter from the International Committee of the Red Cross. The idea did not appeal to the president. Armed with a letter from the head of the International Committee of the Red Cross, Clara Barton took her appeal to the President Rutherford B. Hayes in 1877, but he looked on the treaty as a possible entangling alliance and rejected it. However, his successor, James Garfield, seemed ready to sign it as soon as his term came, but unfortunately, he was assassinated before he could sign the document. Finally, Garfield's successor, Chester Arthur, signed the treaty in 1882, and in a few days, the Senate agreed to it as well. It took Clara Barton 12 years to found the organization. Clara Barton served as the first president. When Clara Barton 
was at its head, the American Red Cross was devoted to disaster relief for the first 20 years of existence. Clara would do whatever she could to help the wounded people and those in need of assistance. Clara Barton and the American Red Cross shipped railroad cars of Iowa cornmeal and flour to Russians suffering from famine in 1892. They worked for 10 months to replenish the supplies for the African-American population after a tidal wave killed over 5,000 people on the Sea Islands of South Carolina in 1893. In 1896, Clara Barton conducted a relief program to help the victims in Turkey and Armenia. She was the only woman and Red Cross advocate the Turkish government would allow to work with the situation. In the 1900s, Clara Barton distributed over $120,000 worth of supplies and financial assistance to the survival of the tidal wave in Galveston, Texas. The tidal wave killed over 6,000 people. This was Clara Barton's last relief operation. Clara Barton led the American Red Cross to disaster locations. She helped people who were suffering. She helped victims of many different disasters over the years. In 1964, Henry Dundit suggested that the Red Cross helps with disaster relief as well as with wartime services. Clara Barton was the biggest campaigner for this idea. The discussion to expand the organization into helping the victims of natural disaster occurred at the Third International Red Cross Conference in 1884. The amendment passed and became known as the American Amendment. Miss Barton was awarded with gifts for her work. Clara was finding ways to help more people. Although she did not create the idea, she fought for it. Near the end of Clara Barton's time at the American Red Cross, the organization began to turn into yet another direction. They would now deliver supplies and assistance during wartime to the soldiers and civilians. Over the years, the American Red Cross helped with provided relief for the people dealing with man-made and natural disasters. The American Red Cross also helped thousands of soldiers. When Miss Barton went to battlefields or brought food to the hungry, she helped save lives. During the Civil War, Clara Barton brought supplies to men so that they could recover and continue to fight. She touched many people's lives and had a positive impact on hundreds of soldiers. She helped them physically and mentally during their darkest hours when they had lost hope. Clara Barton showed by example of how important it was for healthcare workers to step up and help soldiers during war. She also demonstrated how important it was to help victims of natural disaster as well. Clara Barton saved thousands of lives during her lifetime and also created an organization that has helped millions. They also taught 4,600 people in the United States about international humanitarian laws and much more. The Red Cross is an extremely important organization and is still impacting millions of lives today. Clara Barton changed the United States. She helped save many lives during her lifetime and made an organization which still saves and improves lives today. After retiring at 84, she was still up and about helping. Miss Barton volunteered and worked for many causes and charities until her death. They included racial and women's inequality, as well as prison reform. Long term, Clara Barton's organization would help and save so many lives. Even today, her legacy stands and helps so many people, who without her care, compassion, and hard work would never be standing today. Take Chile or the hurricane in Haiti. If she hadn't stepped up in the 1800s and made a difference, how many South Americans would still be alive? How many Haitians? Miss Barton's legacy has allowed us to reach out and save so many lives. Today, because of her, we have millions of lives that otherwise would not be here. Miss Barton showed leadership through service in the Civil War and created a legacy by founding the American Red Cross and that is still spreading national relief today. Her work was not forced, it was from her heart. This was important because she cared about her job. Clara Barton was an expiring head of the American Red Cross. Her legacy was a gift and a treasure. She inspired a nation and spread a masterpiece.